What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this uh, day nine mono black torment of hailfire list. Uh, so far we are two in one. Uh, if you'd like to check out part one, I, I, I definitely encourage you to do so. Uh, got actually more wins than I was expecting. I didn't think we would do quite as well as we had, so I'm very happy about that. Hopefully we can at least get one or two, maybe at least break even. Uh, but really enjoying this list. Again, presented by Day9 originally, uh, and I, I couldn't be happier with it. I think it's such a fun list. Uh, this is a Hand of Ramp, and we're going to try it. Um, and I, I really like it. It just ramps very, very hard into an Ugin and or a Torment of Hailfire, and that is really fun. Uh, it's very single track minded, but uh, it works, so at least somewhat. Uh, in this video, I just want to take a minute to... Um, I, I want to brag on our community a little bit, um, specifically some of the individuals in our community that make it so awesome. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about specifically deck builders in the community. So people like uh, Outlaw Pete, who suggests a lot of decks, people like Turn One Soul Ring, who suggests a lot of decks, Swan Storm, who uh, all these people are Discord people, by the way, uh, who take their time to build some decks for us and actually throw those in that channel so that way we have the opportunity to at least try them out and uh, see how they go. Uh, and I just want to say a huge thank you to them for putting those together and being a part of our community in that way. Uh, it's really fun to see what you guys can come up with. Um, and there's always a surprise, I will say. <laughs> um, and uh, Turn 1 Soul Ring in general has like a really good record for just amazing decks, uh, which again, I couldn't be happier about and I, I really appreciate. So thank you all there. Um, that's not to say other people don't suggest decks, by the way, there are plenty of others, uh, but I just wanted to point out a few. Um, also want to point out some, uh, let's, let's do this first, and let's Hedron Archive. <laughs> we have all the mana in the world now. Um, uh, also want to point out, you know, our moderator, Proxy the Goat, um, good friend of mine, Alex, uh, does a fantastic job. He's very, very keen on just sticking with, you know, what he and I have talked about and making sure that, you know, the community is a positive one. Um, we've not, thankfully, not had to deal with much negativity just in general in our community. Um, and so, you know, on our Discord, we've got a really great group of people and they're all really, really nice and willing to, you know, just be there and help out with everybody. Uh, and I think that there's something to be said there for, for having a group of different individuals i mean we've got 150 individuals in there uh all from different backgrounds all different people but they're all doing just fantastic things and i i can't thank them enough for that um so and proxy the goat as well for being there to moderate uh fantastic individual um really helpful for the channel as well and it's nice to to just kind of say you do that i'll handle the content um I want to obviously thank Will, who unfortunately isn't a huge part of the channel at the moment, but is really a, a big player in making it resolves what it is. Um, we can't really do anything else but draw cards. Um, we can, okay, but see, yeah, it's gonna like, nope, 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 that's not what I meant. Whoops. Um, that was just a misclick. All right, uh, let's attack. Narset. Obviously, they're just going to play their other Narset, but let's go ahead and get that in there. Um, that was just literally me killing two mana for the sake of killing two mana. There was no reason to do that. Uh, but Will obviously played a huge part in making it resolves what it is, uh, and especially with the podcast, he, he's done a lot of work there. Now, I know that's been on hiatus, and I'd like to, to bring that back, but I think what we're going to try and do is get JDC Season 3 kind of out of the way first, uh, because obviously... That's going to take up a lot of my time, uh, and I, I already am stressed for time, so I just want to make sure that we're not overloading ourselves and making it not fun. I think, you know, when, you, when you're when you in content creation to make it sound dramatic, um, which I think is such a dramatic way to play it, but when you're in that realm, it can be really tricky because, you know, you want to obviously do awesome stuff, and you really want to, you know, make something fun and really exciting and you get tons of ideas and it's it's great it's awesome to have all those ideas but at the same time you know you do get to a point where it's just kind of not worth or it there's stress that comes with it that isn't necessarily needing to be there um and i think that uh at some point you need to you know think about that and figure out okay is this really worth the stress that i'm putting into it um and sometimes yes sometimes no but 
I think it's important to give yourself the uh, the benefit of the doubt that, you know, if you're not enjoying it, uh, maybe you're just doing a little too much. Maybe it's not that you hate it or that you don't want to do it. It's just that you're pushing yourself too hard. Um, and so that's why, generally speaking, like weekends, I tend to take off on weekends because, you know, I've got things that I want to do on the weekends, to be honest. Um, and some people and they're probably right, would say, well, that's going to hinder you and that's not going to make you a better YouTuber. And you're right. That's not. Um, but I'm, I'm not just a YouTuber. You know, I've, I've got other things going on that I'd like to spend time with. And um, I, as much as I love doing this and as much as I want to do this on a regular basis, I would love to do this as my full time job. But I got to put in the work and I've got to put in the effort to make it happen. Uh, and like I said, thankfully, we've got a lot of people backing us up to help us get there. But it takes time, and it takes a lot of time. Uh, and so you really have to be conscious of that, uh, is the best thing that I can say. Uh, and so, let's see. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to swing for two again. Um, And we're in a position now where we might as well sacrifice a bunch of stuff because they just got a cleansing nova. Um, <laughs> uh, that might change things, though. It does change things. Um, let's do this. Worth noting that here um, we do have to be conscious of this really shuts down Ugin, um, and so there's not much of a point in worrying about it. Um, really what we need is a, uh, a torment, um, and a very big torment. Um, and so that's why I'm playing to the out of killing the Cleansing Nova here and not worrying it's so much about the approach. Uh, as great as approach is, wow, Omniscience too. Um, that's not what I'm worried about at the moment. <clears throat> um, omniscience might be. Uh, that is a problem card. This is just a very cool, ambitious deck, and I like it. <laughs> Uh, it's really sweet. Um, anyway, all that to say, you know, there's a lot of important things to think about when you're when you're creating YouTube content, whether that's magic related or not magic related. And so, uh, just be conscious of that. And you know, as great as it is to to do awesome stuff all the time, sometimes it's just not going to work, and it's not uh, as feasible as you'd like it to be. And that's that's fine. Uh, I think you just got to enjoy what you're doing. Uh, which I do. I very much do. And so I, I credit that 100% to a lot of the people that make it possible. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to sack this. Draw two. Ugin's not helpful. Um, Ugin could be good if this was not a thing. Um, we have to draw essentially just torment um and if we can't then essentially we're gonna lose <laughs> uh yep i mean we can play a new game but there's not really a point come in here and poke for two uh yep i mean we're definitely gonna lose this like i don't think there's a way we don't um I'm just trying to look through. They've just got so many things that they could do to, to shut us down here. Um, and honestly, even like a Torment at this point, I don't think is going to be... It's pretty good. Uh, it might win. I, uh, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, um, all this to say, we've got a lot of people in our community uh, that are really, really helpful and instrumental in making It Resolves what it is. And so I just wanted to take a moment to give them a quick shout out. Um, we also have people like uh, who are a, a, a very important part of our community in ways that are not necessarily um, apparent quite yet uh, that I'm really excited about. Um, in particular, uh, I want to call out Lady Ziggy for just being such a talented illustrator. Um, and I, I'm spoiling a little bit here, but her and I have been working on a little bit of a project together. Um, and she has been phenomenal in that process. She has done an absolutely fantastic job. She is uh, in the midst of a lot of stuff going on in her own life, which is not my place to talk about, she has done a tremendous job of doing uh, really amazing work, um, and I, I couldn't be happier uh, with what she has done. Um, and so I just want to take a moment to thank her as well. Um, I think we just lose, right? Like, I, I can play a Nugan, but, like, it just doesn't matter. We can't draw cards. 
uh, we can just activate this and do this, but literally all they have to do is play approach and they they win. Um, which I assume they've got, or at least they can get. Um, they also just have settled the wreckage, which, you know. Um, anyway, okay, there's the approach, and they've got plenty of stuff. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna concede here. Um, but yeah, Lady Ziggy, incredibly talented illustrator, um, and so I I highly recommend. She's kind of new to the streaming world, but she's done a number of them on Twitch. Uh, and I don't I'm, I apologize, I don't know her handle right off, but I assume it's just Twitch.com/slash Lady Ziggy. Maybe I'm wrong. Lady Ziggy, if you're watching, leave it in the comments so people can uh, check you out. But uh, she's really doing a fantastic job and excited for her. I hope that her channel kind of takes off and does what she wants it to do. Um, but I also am excited to just be working with her uh, now and in the future, hopefully. Um, all right, game two. That was a bit of a long one, uh, but that was an approach deck, so that makes sense. Uh, we also just didn't draw much. <laughs> um I'm gonna, so really quick, our frames are dipping significantly and it looked like the opponent was kind of taking a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip out of that one. Let's see if we can start another. Um, I don't normally like doing that. I did for a while and then I really hated myself for doing it. So I'm not gonna make that a habit again, but uh, don't wanna just sit, you know, sit here and make you guys watch that. Um, also, uh, again, just thank you to everybody subscribing. Uh, this whole video is just me thanking a bunch of people, but thank you guys also for being a part of the channel and making it what it is. Um, it wouldn't be one without it, so it means a lot. Um, the sand's not great, but we're going to try it. The land helps. The land definitely helps. Uh, we can go turn two, Mind Stone, turn three, Solemn, uh, and then hopefully like a turn four, Dreamstone would be great. Uh, with a five turn five Ugin. Ooh. Um does that change things? Kind of, right? I think it does. Wow, both of these are very good. Um I think we take the Marshall though. That just represents more damage, uh, which is a problem for us because obviously we do have to stay alive and we don't yet have a um, an extinction event, which is really the card we need to stay alive. So let's hope we can get there. Ooh, meddling mage. Well, that's an annoying card for sure. Um, all right, that's about all we can do. Uh, next turn we get to play Solemn. Um, interested to see what they choose a non-land card name. That could be anything. I mean, I assume they just play, like, say, Ugin. Like, that's probably a safe bet. Sure. That's probably the safest bet, I would think. Yep. That makes sense. Uh, would really, really love a, um... An extinction event, then. <laughs> uh, not, we could just bounce, or excuse me, get rid of quite a number of these big threats here. Uh, in fact, almost all of them, except for the Marshal, or the Bugler, excuse me. Um, but we'll see. A second meddling mage. Okay. Well, that's safe. Uh, so I, I guess that makes sense. Let's do this. Let's get our basic land out. I mean, now we have a locker, so we can just kind of like trade off with something here uh, and hopefully get into some a position where we can get an extinction event. Um, again, that would be a huge, huge play uh, just to be able to, to get rid of. Oh, mean, mean, mean. Yeah. Uh, I am going to just trade that off here. Take action. All right, so what can we do here? There's not a lot, <laughs> to be honest. I think we just lose. Uh, we could do this. No, I hate when it does that. One, two, three. Uh, 
This only hits for five, which means they can just take all the life. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, we just die. All right. Well, that was a much quicker game. Uh, and well done, opponent. They picked the exact correct cards. So well done. That was uh, that was perfect. Um, unfortunately, even if we had drawn, we didn't even draw the extinction event. But that obviously would have been a lot better if we could have gotten it down a turn early, um, and then be able to wipe the board at least free up the Ugin. Uh, and then at least we've got outs because they've only got that one meddling mage. Um, this hand we are not keeping. That's terrible. Oh, gosh. Um, dude, whatever. We're going to keep it. <laughs> Let's try it. Um, so I think that this is going to be for the even. The the three and three. Um, hopefully we can get there. We really are going to need an extinction event again here. Looks like just Jund, kind of aggro or Rakdos aggro, potentially. Throw this out, throw this out. All right, we're going to be in trouble, for sure. Okay. Sure. Keep that counter. And we drop a Hedron Archive. <laughs> Uh, yeah. This is what I mean, though, by Torment of Hailfire isn't good until it's really good. Uh, because we could play it next turn, and it would do some damage, and it would feel like it's doing something, but it's not enough. Like, we need an extinction event here, um, or we just die. There, I mean, there's no other way around it. Uh, and that's kind of a frustrating place to be. Uh, does Ugin? Can we? No, can't do Ugin. Um... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think we just die, right? Six, seven, yeah, we just die. All they have to do is power it up. Let's see if they, they give us a turn. Yeah, dude, you got me. Wow, they should have just killed me. That was a mistake. Um, I mean, chances are we're still going to die here, but um, we do get to play a Nugan. <laughs> I come bearing the wisdom of the ancients. Uh, and this exiles as well, so uh, I'm going to play the land, but I don't love it. Chances are we're still going to just die here, but we got to try. Yep, that's not helpful. Okay. Yep, you got me. Ugh, that was rough. Uh, we actually did okay. They missed lethal, which was kind of silly. They could have just powered up the, the knight, but that's fine. Um, anyway, here we are. We got two and four. Uh, which I can't be terribly upset about, to be honest. Um, considering, first of all, Day 9, like I said, built this deck. Uh, love this deck. It's really fun, and I love Day 9. But uh, this is not meant to necessarily be a competitive deck. It was kind of just to see Torment of Hailfire do its thing. Um, and really, we didn't even get to see it do its thing. We saw Ugin more often. But uh, overall, it's still a really fun deck. And I think, um, you know, it's worth trying out just to... I like the idea of taking a card like Torment of Hailfire and just seeing if you can really break it. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't think this did, but uh, I don't think that that makes this deck bad either. I think that it's fun, and I think it can be played with, and I think it, you know, given given maybe a couple extra sweepers, maybe we could have seen what we could have done there. Uh, but either way, I really like it. I think it's a fun deck. Uh, so I do recommend trying it out uh, if you haven't already. I, I think definitely some sweepers would be needed uh, a little bit more so, like, maybe two more uh and the only reason i say that historic is notorious for having a lot of goblins in it right now i think it's something like 18 percent of the meta is just mono red goblins uh we've also got luris decks which are very popular um and so finding ways like cry of the carnarium is a good one uh that exiles a bunch of things uh or extinction event which exiles things ugin exiles those are the things that you need to be able to deal with those decks so to inherently have a sweeper that also exiles takes a lot of the decks out of the meta uh, and just kind of handily deals with them. 
Uh, and so I do recommend trying some things out here. Uh, but again, I, I want to take the opportunity again to thank everybody. Really means a lot that all of you guys are here supporting what we do. Uh, make sure to enter that giveaway if you are not already. The Zendikar Rising giveaway is going on until the 28th of September. You've got 20 days uh, to enter that one. Uh, and we'd certainly appreciate the support there. But thank you guys so much. Really do appreciate it. And I will see you very soon for another gameplay video. Thanks, guys.